Welcome to another episode of Battle, Battle with, with Bourbon. Bourbon. I'm your host, Rockstar Johnny Nye. And I'm your host, Rockstar Mikey Nye. <laughs> and today, we have a very special guest. Co-host, Rockstar Terry Nye. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! And so today, um, he is a big part of my bourbon journey. So today, we're going to taste one of his original favorites of Jack Daniels, even though, I mean, Jack Daniels 12 is, is a new on the horizon, but he, he loves Jack Daniels originally, and it's kind of morphed into this bourbon journey. So we're going to see how Jack 12 makes up against Baker's 13. Bam! Both of them are coming in at 107 proof. Uh, funny story, I obtained these through a Costco. I scored a whole case of six at a stellar deal by badgering the employees and figuring out when it was going to come in. And they got there right when they opened. And before they could put limit one per customer, I said, I will take the whole case. And then if you didn't know about the Baker's 13, as well as the Baker 7, they actually share four different collectible tops. So if you're a collectible uh, individual or you save them and you don't open them, uh, you can actually get obtain four different tops. Uh, as well as the presentation goes, I do like the necktie on the Baker's 13. Bing! I like that. It's winning, as Charlie Sheen would say. Absolutely. One year difference between the two, but at the same exact proof, we're going to tell you where they may or may not land. You know, it's a little wild. that I didn't even plan this. They're both 107s. That's crazy. Yeah. That's cool. I like it. I love it. All right. Let's give a nose on the Jack 12. Bam. Ooh. That smells phenomenal. I'm getting a dark cherry. Oh, I'm getting a lot of dark cherry oak. This smells freaking great. It does smell freaking <laughs> great. <laughs> Maybe my best find of 2023. Oh, man. I'm getting the fruit. The fruit, yep. Getting that cherry? Yes, yeah. it's very in there. Yeah, it is cherry very. vanilla heaven. That is a good. It is great. Just very nice great. Nose on it. Wow. Cherry vanilla heaven on this one it is wild. Mm. Now, let's before we taste the Jack, I want to get a nose on this Baker's 13. Oh, very similar nose. Ooh. Very closer than I thought it would be. It's closer, but it is not as cherry forward. No, not as cherry forward. It is very good, though. A little more ethanol -y. little more I will say that. It does Shoot. hit you in a li little bit more on the alcohol. And I'm not going to lie. I'm normally a Kentucky uh, individual. I think this has got a little more body to it. On the, it on does. The it does. The, 12 ha the, the Jack 12 has a lot more thickness on the nose. It does. I the Baker's the 13 well. is very, very good on the nose. Against some other things, it, it may have won, but I will take... Much, I think the much Jack, lighter on the nose, though. Yeah, Correct, much lighter, much lighter on the, I the nose. Think mm -hmm. I think Jack 12 takes it on the nose for me. I think they add a little uh, water to the Baker 7. Maybe it came a little it's hotter. Right on the water water so proof. Correct, but out the barrel. You, okay. Out the That's barrel. very possible. Yeah. Very possible. Yeah. All right, let's give them a chew. Which one are you going to chew first? I'm chewing the Baker's... First, right, honestly, and that's the because the nose on a seven was better on the yeah, jack. I got you. I get some oak. I get some spice. Yeah. Smoke. Not too much caramel vanilla. Very oak and spice forward for me. It goes from like, like a nice sweet oak, and then transitions to the baking spice. But in a in in a good way. Not not hot. It's not, not hot. hot. No. It's very good. It, yeah, it like, does transition to the back of the tongue. Yeah. But not like they there's no hug. No, no hug. It it's this is a nice pour. This very is nice a very pour. nice pour. Um honestly, if I was watching a football game, even though I don't watch football, this could be something I sip on as I, I enjoy a good game. Blashing them bears throw interceptions or what? Yeah, whatever they do. <laughs> you know. Okay. That was really good. 
Now there's some nice legs on there. Yeah, let, let's give the let's give the thirteen a leg. When leg, they score a basket, leg, just, you know, when whenever the Bears score a basket. <laughs> <laughs> there's some nice legs on that. Nice legs you on the Bears. Switch over to the Jack, or we switch or the Bakers talk about. You, I just want to know what you think about oh, the legs first. I'm the legs some, on the Bakers are great. I will say that. Some oak in there. There's a lot of nice oak on the front, and then it goes into a nice bacon spice. Yeah. The bakers are bakers no bakers. bakers. Is very nice. Now. So on the nose, to me, the Jack beats the bakers. I agree. Now let's let's see what the Jack... Did I give the bakers a chew? You did. I hope. I'm going to give it another chew, because I don't remember giving the bakers a chew. Well, then give it another chew, my friend. There's something on there that I can't pick up. On which one? On the Jack. On the Jack, okay. Where we've moved over. But you can still continue to is talk it, about the backers. I shall. Is it a fruit of some? There's a lot of fruit on the on the jack. Yeah. This is the best jack that's ever been made, in my opinion. So I'm gonna use a line that you get delivered before. Yeah. This is just normal bourbon that I get on the palate. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's quite that. I don't. I don't get any caramel. I don't get any. Vanilla. Exactly. Well, that's not normal. Bourbon. I don't get any spice. You get spice. There's spice on there. I don't get any fruit. I don't know what I do. This is oak and get. spice. That's what this is. In there, my there's opinion. definitely oak. There's definitely there's, oak. There's a lot of oak and there's, and there's spice on the end. It's, it's, it goes oak forward. Which, but it, like in the best way, there's a nice oak. It's not like a weird oak. It's Correct. a great oak, and then it transitions into like a baking spice, like the tobacco. The tobacco. It, there yeah. is a little bit of like that leathery yeah. tobaccoy flavor. For sure, I agree to that. Yeah, I'd agree to that. So this is very oak forward. It is with a leathery tobacco uh, after finish. It is. And I really Jack do 12. like this though. I don't know a jack about the Jack Twelve. <laughs> We're really? gonna find out. You've never had this. No. I think you've had it only once yeah. at the uh, Chicago one of our uh, wrestling shows. I don't even know if we filmed that particular. We probably didn't. But this version. is this smells great. Very let's brutal. give it a let's give it a chew. Mm. Holy moly! Holy moly! Yeah. <laughs> oh. Very good. That's phenomenal. Also, guys. This is not a 750 milliliter bottle. This is only a 700 milliliter uh, bottle. So it's 50 milliliters less. But it looks bigger. It looks yeah. bigger. And, yeah. and frankly, I don't give a shit. No. What, what milliliters this is, this is awesome. Definitely, Unbelievably awesome. Yes. Definitely yes. more complex. Wow. This is great. This has got... It starts oak... Turns into cherry, hits you with the caramel, finishes vanilla. This is great. I don't think I could have put it more perfectly. Definitely starts with the oak, hits you with the cherry, twist the twist the caramel. You heard of the twist of fate? This is the twist of caramel. <laughs> this this is awesome. Oh! <laughs> twist the caramel. Twist the caramel. No hug. No. Uh, just as smooth as it could be going. Oh. And, but it coats your tongue with all the flavors. You know, and the top two are Beam and Jack. If, if anybody says, you know, oh, hey, what are the two bourbons that are at every bar? It's Beam and Jack. If you know, you, now that we've aged Beam and Jack, because traditionally Beam and Jack are both terrible. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Both traditional <laughs> Beam and Jack are not good unless you mix them with soda or some bullshit this is where it matters and i will tell you i like this, this i'm not gonna Jack apologize for that is crazy good crazy good it is very very good this jack 12 is borderline whiskey of the year in my opinion and this, this is, is not great. taking anything away from the no, bakers 13 it's not because that's a great bottle correct Correct. This was a, I don't want to say a tough choice because it wasn't very tough, but this bottle is still worth $169. But if for whatever reason you're able to find this for $86, which I doubt you will, no, no, buy this shit. 
if you can get it for a hundred, buy it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit, if you can get this for 200 buy it. Like, this is silly, like, good. This is yeah. great. Silly good. Like, I've had things that are worth $300 retail that have been not nearly as good as this. This is a great bottle. Buy it every day of the week. This is also worth retail. Anytime you see this, this Correct. is worth retail. Worth retail. It's a great bottle. $169. It just isn't quite this good, but it's great in... All day. It, according to other, you know, if you're going to compare this with other things, I just, this is a tough comparison. This is a very tough comparison. It's close, but for me personally, the Jack 12 is going to win. Yes. Uh, I enjoy yes. licking my lips even after yes. uh, having the Jack 12. There's a certain sweetness, a certain uh, aromatic, you know, about it that it's keeps fantastic. me coming back to it. I'm not going to lie, Jack 12 might take the actual fall season. It's a, it's a cherry with just enough spice to oh. say that there is a spice, but not enough spice to say that there's spice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's so. not hoggy. It's it's just... And at that proof, it's perfect. I'm not going to lie. Super sweet. Super sweet. This particular bottle on is one of the best out there, and this will go to the next round, but it's going to be really hard to beat, so... Everyone else better bring their A game because this is going to be real hard to beat on the fall season. Yeah. Come on, Kentucky, because I love Kentucky. So yeah. come on. You better come yeah. with it. Don't let Tennessee, Tennessee beat you. Tennessee's <laughs> coming hard. <laughs> because it could. It's blind. It's going to be blind at the end of the year. So don't you tell me. Don't you tell me. Don't you tell me Tennessee's going to beat you down. Come on, Riggin, Bobby. Don't you tell me. But, uh, <laughs> you know, for this particular episode... We are battling with bourbon, and we will see you next time. Shake and bake. Shake and bake, baby.